Good morning. My name is Duane. I'm one of the leaders of the high school ministry here at BCF. 大家早，我叫迪威，我是在青年施工的一个负责人之一。Thank you for allowing me to worship Jesus Christ with you this morning, and thank you for giving me the privilege to lead our study. Uh, 感谢你们让我跟你一起敬拜主耶稣基督，也来带领今天的学习。Today is Resurrection Sunday. 今天是复活的主日。I say Resurrection simply because that's what we're celebrating today, and that will be our focus for this morning: Jesus rising from the dead. 我说这是复活的主日，因为我们啊、uh, 今天来庆祝。耶稣已经从死里复活了。So much of our faith rests in the resurrection. 我们的信心其实建立在这个复活上面。It's through the resurrection that we know Jesus' words are true, that He is the Son of God, that He has given He was given new life and has the ability to give His followers new life. 因为经过这个耶稣的复活，我们知道他的话是真的，他也是神的儿子，他有一个复活的生命，他也有办法把这个。新生命给我们。The resurrection shows、uh, that those who put their trust in Jesus have hope of being resurrected with Him at the end times when He comes back to judge the world. 这个复活也让我们知道，如果我们把信心放在耶稣的上面，我们有一天在末世的时候，当他来审判世界的时候，我们跟他一起复活。So this morning, as you would expect, we're going to look at a passage that describes the resurrection. 所以今天的经文也是跟复活有关系的。But before we do that, let's look back at the events that led up to this. 所以呢，在看复活之前呢，我们来看看这个故事的背景。Many of you know the story of Jesus' virgin birth and how he was declared by an angel to be Emmanuel, which means God with us. 很多人可能已经知道，耶稣是童女怀孕生出来的。他被天使说他的名字叫以马内利，就是神与我们同在的意思。If you don't know that story, you can find it in Matthew chapter one. 如果你不熟悉的话，可以看马马太福音第一章。When Jesus was about thirty years old, he started his earthly ministry, teaching about the kingdom of God and proclaiming that he was sent by the Father to redeem sinners. 所以耶稣大概三十岁的时候，他开始他的传道的施工，他传讲神国的福音，而且他说是是天父叫他来。啊、uh, ，来释放让罪人的自由。Through faith and obedience to Him, Jesus offered people forgiveness of their sins against God and restoration of their broken relationship with the Father. 如果我们对耶稣有信心，而且顺服他的话，耶稣将把这个呃、uh, 罪饶恕，而且有办法恢复我们跟天父的关系。And He offered people a place in His eternal kingdom. 不止为如此，他还让我们这些信的人在天国里有份。Of course, his teachings got him in trouble with the religious leaders of the day. 当时候他的教导呢，这个当时的宗教领袖啊，不喜欢他的教导。They thought his message was blasphemous, even though he was also performing miracles to demonstrate his deity. 因为他自称是神的儿子，他认为他这个信息是亵渎神的，即使耶稣行了很多神迹来证明他是神。As he gained followers and corrected the teachings of the religious leaders. They began to plot against him. So, in a Jesus' the, 跟他的群众越来越多，所以这些所谓的宗教领袖就要开始设计谋来害他。Ultimately, they had Jesus crucified. He was hung on the cross where he gave up his life. He certainly didn't deserve that. 所以呢，最后他把耶稣钉十字架，他被挂在啊十字架上啊，把他的生命舍去。可是呢，他的呃，这个完美的生活是不应该受这样的责罚。He was without sin. However, there was a reason that Jesus went to the cross. A reason that he didn't fight the charges. 他是没罪的，可是他为什么去上十字架，而且不反抗呢？因为是有原因的。He suffered so that we could be saved if we put our faith in him. 他是为我们受苦，所以我们有信心在他里面的话，他会拯救我们。He died so that he could bear God's wrath on behalf of those who would follow him. So, he died on the cross so that he could bear God's wrath on behalf of those who would follow him. So, he died on the cross so that he could bear God's wrath on behalf of those who would follow him. So, he died on the cross so that he could bear God's wrath on behalf of those who would follow him. So, he died on the cross so that he could bear God's wrath on behalf of those who would follow him. So, he died on the cross so that he could bear God's wrath on behalf of those who would follow him. So, he died on the cross so that he could bear God's wrath on behalf of those who would follow him. So, he died on the cross so that he could bear God's wrath on behalf of those who would follow him. 
，因为我们因为我们的不顺服，可是他却顺服的接受神的十字架。He did it for those who accept him as Lord and Savior. That was the plan. 所以他这里呢，为什么这么做呢？就让我们可以接受我们的主，成为我们生命的救主。这就是他的计划。That's why he went to the cross. Jesus himself said it would happen. 所以耶稣耶稣基督上十字架的原因也是如此。But he also said that he would be raised to new life. 而且他也说他有一天会复活，有一个新的生命。That's where we'll pick up. We find some of the women who had been following Jesus heading to the tomb. 所以我们看到呢，在圣经里面呢，有一些跟随他的妇女跑到这个坟墓去。They had witnessed his death and burial, and now a few days later, they were heading back to the tomb. 所以呢，看到耶稣被钉十字架，耶稣死了，也看到耶稣被埋在坟墓里。Let's read Matthew 28 verses 1 through 10. So we just 要看这个马太所记的故事 Now, after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, and an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, "Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you." So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy, and ran to tell the disciples. And behold. Jesus met them and said, "Greetings." They came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, "Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me." Matthew 福音二十八章一到十节，安息日将近，七日的头一日，天快亮的时候，抹大拉的玛利亚和那个玛利亚来看坟墓。忽然地大震动，因为有主的使者。从天上下来，把石头滚开，坐在上面。他的面貌如同闪电，衣服洁白如雪。看守的人就因他吓得浑身呃乱颤，甚至和死人一样。天使对妇女说：“不要害怕，我知道你们是寻找那钉十字架的耶稣。他不在这里，照他所说的，已经复活了。你们来看安放主的地方，快去告诉他的门徒。”说他已从死里复活了，并且在你们已先往加利利去，在那里你们要见他。看哪、啊，我已经告诉你们了。妇女们就急忙离开坟墓，又害怕又大大欢喜，跑去要报给他的门徒。忽然，耶稣遇见他们说：“愿你们平安。”他们就上前抱住他的脚，拜他。耶稣对他们说：“不要害怕。”你们去告诉我的弟兄，叫他们往加利利去，在那里必见我。Let's pray. 我们一起祷告。Father God, we thank you for this time this morning. We thank you for your words that you have preserved for us in Scripture to let us know just what happened on that fateful day when Jesus rose from the dead. Pray that you would bless our study this morning and help us to draw closer through to you through this time. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So we thank you. Ah, today we have this time. We can read your word. You clearly, clearly, ah, fulfill your promise. Ah, the third day, he rose. So we pray that the Holy Spirit will guide us and help us to understand what you want to say to us. We pray that today's time will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. 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 That he had risen from the grave. You can imagine if you hear this news, Jesus has risen, and he has risen from the grave. It can be hard to believe. So Matthew gives us three reasons to trust that it's true. So, uh, this is very difficult to understand. So Matthew also gives us three reasons to trust that it's true. So Matthew also gives us three reasons to trust that it's true. So Matthew also gives us three reasons to trust that it's true. So Matthew also gives us three First, the tomb was empty. 第一个坟墓是空的。Second, the angel testified that Jesus was alive. 第二个，呃
天使证明说，耶稣活着，耶稣是活着的。And third, Jesus himself attested to that fact. 第三，耶稣也自己啊显现出来来说，我是活的。Let's start with the tomb. 所以我们先看有关坟墓的见证。In the previous chapter, Matthew tells us that Jesus was laid in Joseph's tomb. 所以在马太福音的二十七章前一章，他说耶稣呢其实是。呃，放在这个财主约瑟的坟墓里。It was a new tomb, meaning there were no bodies in it. It had never been used. 所以是一个新的坟墓，也就是说，还没有在耶稣之前没有尸体在里面过。Joseph of Arimathea, who Matthew tells us that was a disciple of Jesus, took Jesus's body with permission of Pilate, wrapped it in a linen cloth, and laid it in a tomb for himself. 所以在马太福音二十七章呢，特别讲的这个这个亚利马大的的约瑟呢，呃，他是一个耶稣的门徒呢，他就从比拉多那边得到允许，把耶稣的呃尸体拿起来，裹在一个裹尸布里面，放在他自己的坟墓里。He rolled a giant stone in front of it to seal it. 所以，而且呃，坟墓前面有个大石头啊，来盖住这个坟墓。Matthew's text calls it a great stone, so it probably took a lot of effort to move. So Matthew's text calls it a great stone, so it probably took a lot of effort to move. So Matthew's text calls it a great stone, so it probably took a lot of effort to move. So Matthew's text calls it a great stone, so it probably took a lot of effort to move. So Matthew's text calls it a great stone, so it probably took a lot of effort to move. So Matthew's text calls it a great stone, so it probably took a lot of effort to move. So Matthew's text calls it a great stone, so it probably took a lot of effort to move. So Matthew's text calls it a great stone, so it probably took a lot of effort to move. So Matthew's text calls it a great They did so specifically so that Jesus' disciples could not steal the body and claim that he had risen from the from the dead. So he how why he do this? So Jesus' disciples could not steal the body and claim that he had risen from the dead. So he how why he do this? So Jesus' disciples could not steal the body and claim that he had risen from the dead. So he how why he do this? So Jesus' disciples could not steal the body and claim that he had risen from the dead. So he how why he do this? So Jesus' disciples could not steal the body and claim that he had risen from the dead. So he how why he do this? So Jesus' disciples could not steal the body and claim that he had risen from the dead. So he how why he do this? But they seem to be confident that it still was because they sealed it, meaning they put a seal on it so they could tell if somebody had tampered with it. 我们没有看到好像卫兵呢啊去看看啊尸体有没有在里面，他也没有去检查。可是呢，我想他们是很有信心，因为这个呃这个圣经上就讲说，因为他们是把它盖起来的，而且呢，因为这个坟墓呢是被封闭的，所以没有人可以打开它。From that point, they stood at the tomb. And they were still there when the angel arrived, and they surely didn't move after that. So, at that time, they were still there when the angel arrived, and they surely didn't move after that. So, at that time, they were still there when the angel arrived, and they surely didn't move after that. So, at that time, they were still there when the angel arrived, and they surely didn't move after that. So, at that time, they were still there when the angel arrived, and they surely didn't move after that. So, at that time, they were still there when the angel arrived, and they surely didn't move after that. So, at that time, they were still there when the angel arrived, and they surely didn't move after that. So, at that time, they were still there when the angel arrived, and they surely didn't move after that. So, at that time, they were still there when the angel arrived, and they surely didn't move after that. So, at that time, they were still there So they got to witness all that was about to take place. So Matthew says, "This people, because they saw the angel, their heads shook, very unsettled, and they were very afraid." And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel and were very afraid. And they also saw the angel The tomb was empty. 也没有说耶稣是从坟墓中走出来，他只说坟墓里面是空的。We don't know how Jesus left the tomb, but he was not there. 我们不知道耶稣怎么离开坟墓的，可是耶稣不在坟墓里。No one had tampered with the tomb, and we can trust that the women were at the right tomb. 所以呢，没有人也去好像去搬动啊、呃、这个这个坟墓或石头，而且呢，我们也知道。啊，这些富人去的是对的坟墓，是是耶稣被埋的那个坟墓。Matthew tells us that the women watched where Jesus had been laid. They remembered the giant stone that was blocking the entrance. 所以马太跟我们讲呢，这些妇女看到耶稣被放在这个坟墓里，她也这些妇女也记得这个坟墓前面有一个巨大的石头。It should have been easy for them to identify his resting place. So when the two Marys got there and saw that the tomb was empty, they knew that something had happened. So, 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 so,
Now we get the privilege of knowing the whole story. We know why the tomb was empty. So now, we have the privilege of knowing the whole story. We know why the tomb was But the women were experiencing this in real time. An empty tomb could have been explained by grave robbers. Although I'm not sure why anyone other than Jesus' disciples would have wanted the body. So, in the time, actually, the mother did not know that Jesus was dead when we already knew it. So, you know, you know, at that time, some people would steal the body. But I cannot imagine any reason why someone would want to steal the body of Jesus. So, God, in His infinite wisdom, doesn't stop with this one clue. Next, we'll get the angel's testimony. So, you know. 这个坟墓是空的呢，呃，神并没有只说坟墓是空的，神还要继续的把第二个线索给我们看。Now remember what Matthew said about the earthquake and the angel's appearance。所以记得我们刚刚读过的，呃，有一个大地震，而且天使也出现了。He was an an intimidating figure。所以天使是看起来会觉得让人家啊、呃、觉得很很很畏惧的。He had bright white clothing, probably supernaturally white, whiter than we could ever get our clothes. So, he said, "The angel was dressed in very bright, bright clothes, and very bright, and very bright that we could not even notice it, and we could not even make the clothes look so bright." His appearance was like lightning; he radiated light. So, his face was like lightning; he radiated light. So, his face was like lightning; he radiated light. That makes me think of Moses' face after he spent time with God. 让我想到摩西的脸上也放光，当这个摩西跟神啊面对面以后。The book of Exodus says that Moses glowed so powerfully that he put a veil on his face so that people wouldn't be afraid of him. 所以大家如果记得出埃及记的话，摩西在山上四十天四十夜下来的时候，他放个啊像一个面巾一样，因为他的脸是放光的。Now imagine an angel who spent a lot more time with God. He would certainly be glowing. So the angel be Moses, ah, 跟神在一起时间多多的，所以你也可以想象这天使的呃的的脸有多么的的的光亮。And he came with power, such power that there was an earthquake as he came and rolled away the stone. 所以呢，他呢这个大能的天使来的时候是非常有能力的，而且这个能力呢，他来的时候有地震。而且呢，他就把这个石头呢，啊，挪开。They could probably tell that the angel was not an ordinary person. 所以这个天使并不是好像好像我们随随便便看到的一个凡人。And the angel spoke to the woman directly. In verse five, he said, "Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who has been crucified. He is not here." 所以呢，这个天使直接跟这两个玛利亚讲，在第五节，他说：“不要害怕。”我知道你们来找耶稣啊，找受难的耶稣，可是他不在这里了。And why was he not there? For he has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he is lying. 为什么他不在这里呢？因为他说过，他要从死里复活。来，来看，来看他原来躺卧的地方。Notice what the angel said. Jesus was here. He was lying right there. He was dead, for he had been crucified. 所以，注意天使怎么讲。他说。耶稣曾经在这里，他就躺在这里过。他死了，因为他被钉死了。I don't think the Romans would have allowed him to be taken off the cross if he was still alive. 所以耶稣躺的时候已经死了，因为罗马人钉十字架的时候，如果耶稣还活着，他不会把他从十字架上拿下来。But remember Jesus' words. He told his disciples that he would suffer many things because of the chief priests and scribes. And that he would be crucified. So, remember Jesus' words. He told his disciples that he would suffer many things because of the chief priests and scribes, and that he would be crucified. But he also told them that he would be raised on the third day, which was now. So he told them that he would be raised on the third day, which was now. So he told them that he would be raised on the third day, which was now. So he told them that he would be raised on the third day, which was now. So he told them that he would be raised on the third day, which was now. So there's your second bit of information attesting to Jesus' resurrection. So, the angel also confirms Jesus' resurrection. Now, all of this was surely overwhelming. The tomb was empty. The angel was telling them that Jesus was alive. So, these are very strange and unbelievable. The tomb was empty. There was an angel who came to tell us that Jesus was alive. He didn't die. That's a lot to process, but they 
were excited. Their fear was mixed with joy. So this fool's reaction is what? It has too much faith, so it is full of fear, but it also has too much joy. Jesus was alive, at least according to what they had seen so far. But we have one more event that attests to Jesus being alive. So the fool knew that Jesus was alive. At least, we see it is this way. But there is one more thing that proves that Jesus was alive. He was resurrected. Jesus himself would appear to the women. Jesus himself would appear to the women. As they were going to tell the disciples what happened, Jesus stopped them and said hello. So the third point is that Jesus himself would appear to the women. So the third point is that Jesus himself would appear to the women. So the third point is that Jesus himself would appear to the women. So the third point is that Jesus himself would appear to the women. So the third point is that Jesus himself would appear to the women. So the third point is that Jesus himself would appear to the women. So the third point is that Jesus himself would appear to the women. So the third point is that Jesus himself would appear to the women. So the third point is that Jesus himself would appear to the women. Seeing his lifeless body placed in the grave, they saw the stone rolled in front of it. So they saw him in the grave, 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 in the grave. And yet here they were, a few days later, seeing Jesus in the flesh and hearing his voice. So it was a few days later, he saw Jesus living, 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 and living, and listening to his voice. All they could do was drop to their knees and worship him. So they could not do that. 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 They could not Now, after our passage, Jesus will continue to show himself to his disciples. So, in this story, after this, Jesus will continue to show himself to his disciples. Many will get to witness his resurrected state. More people will see his resurrected state. At the end of chapter 28, Matthew tells us that Jesus kept his promise and met his disciples in Galilee. In Matthew 28, verse 28, Jesus kept his promise and met his disciples in Galilee. In Matthew 28, verse 28, Jesus According to Luke, in between these two events, Jesus met two other disciples on the road to Emmaus. Later, he appeared to Peter and six other disciples on the Sea of Tiberias. So, in the Luke Gospel, it says that Jesus met two disciples on the road to Emmaus. Jesus met two disciples on the road to Emmaus. And in the Sea of Tiberias, Jesus met six disciples on the road to Emmaus. In the book of Acts, Luke says Jesus made appearances for forty days and spoke about the kingdom of God. In Luke's Gospel, in Luke's Gospel, he says Jesus appeared to them in the flesh for forty days and spoke about the kingdom of God. In Luke's Gospel, in Luke's Gospel, he says Jesus appeared to them in the flesh for forty days and spoke about the kingdom of God. The total number of people that Jesus saw was over five hundred, according to the Apostle Paul. So, Paul records that. 这个耶稣显现之后，显现给超过五百个门徒看。So many people had seen the risen Jesus that Paul uses his own argument for the resurrection. 所以呢，好多人看到这个死里复活的耶稣，所以呢，保罗也用这个来跟我们讲为什么人要复活。All those people could testify about seeing the risen Lord. Paul essentially told the people of his own time, "If you don't believe me, go and ask one of them." 所以呢，因为很多人看过这个复活的主，所以当保罗讲这个信息的时候，说你如果不相信我，我保罗讲的，你可以去问这些见证人。We have his words plus the accounts of the other New Testament writers confirming Jesus rising from the dead. We should trust their words. 所以我看到我们有看到保罗，还有很很多门徒的信息，讲到他们怎么样看到耶稣死里复活的故事，他们这些人的话是可信的。So I want to ask, what does this passage encourage us to do? So, we just saw these messages. What does it encourage us to do? First, I think it encourages us to recognize that Jesus is the Messiah. So, first, I think we can recognize that Jesus is the Messiah. All the things that he said about himself were true. All the things that he said about himself were true. He is the Christ, the Son of God. The only one who offers us eternal life and a place in the kingdom of God. So, Jesus, he said about himself, was true. 他是基督，是神的儿子
，而且呢，他也在为我们在神的国度里准备了一个永远有生命的地方。He's the one who suffered and died and was raised to new life. 所以他为我们受苦，也死了，也被神复活了。Who else can make that claim? No one. Others in the Bible may have been raised from the dead, but only to die again. 所以呢，有有谁可以说他死里复活以后又活到永永远远呢？没有，圣经上没有一个。虽然有被复活的，可是这些人还是最后死了。And they certainly didn't suffer for the sins of other people. Jesus is the only one. He is the Messiah. 而且这些被复活，呃，圣经上有一些复活的故事，他们不是为人的罪而死。耶稣是唯一一个为人罪而死的，他就是那个弥赛亚。Next, we should stand in awe at this miracle. 所以，我们对这个神迹呢，我们应该站立，充满了敬畏。The women were filled with fear and joy. We should be likewise. 这些妇女心中又害怕又欢乐，我们应该也有同样的反应。We should fear the God who created an angel so powerful that the earth quaked. When he moves, so we see this God, see how he has such great power. We should be awed by him. God is so holy that those who are in his presence are in are clothed in white and shining white lightning. So this is the God of the Bible. In his presence, the God of the Bible, the clothes of the angels are like the sun and like the moon. In Matthew chapter 10, Jesus says this. And do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul; rather, fear him who can destroy both the soul and the body in hell. So, in Matthew 福音第十章讲说，不要怕那些杀身体不能杀灵魂的，但是那些能杀身体又把灵魂放在地狱里的，那你要害怕。God is powerful; He is the one we should fear. 神是大有能力的，我们应该敬畏他。And yet, that fear should be accompanied by joy. Joy because our Savior is alive. So, 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 啊，那另外一个事情说，你死了，可是没有复活的希望，那是更悲惨的。Who has the power to rise from the grave? Jesus has that power. Jesus is alive and well, seated at the right hand of the Father. 所以我们是有盼望的。为什么呢？谁有这个能力呢？成能战胜这个坟墓？耶稣有这个能力。耶稣今天是活着的，今天他坐在父神的右边。We should be amazed by that, and we should worship him. Cling to the risen Lord. We should be amazed by this miracle. 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 But not only should we stand in awe, we need to tell others about this miracle. Not only should we stand in awe, we need to tell others about this miracle. Not only should we stand in awe, we need to tell others about this miracle. Not only should we stand in awe, we need to tell others about this miracle. Not only should we stand in awe, we need to tell others about this miracle. Not only should we stand in awe, we need to tell others about this miracle. Not only should we stand in awe, we need to tell others about this miracle. Not only should we stand in awe, we need to tell others about this miracle. It's good to encourage other believers with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we should encourage others with the events of the resurrection. So, for us, believers, we Reminders will strengthen our faith in the Lord, helping us to remember who He is and what He has done. 提醒我们呢，提提醒我们会增让我们对主更有信心，而且呢，也教导我们去去记得他是那位神，而且他为我们成就啊大的事情。And you can play a part in helping others to do that. But our Lord Jesus doesn't stop at telling just believers. 所以呢，你其中也可以跟别人讲这个复活的故事，而且不是只跟相信的人讲。At the end of this chapter, Jesus tells his disciples to go and make more disciples. 所以在马太福音二十八章，耶稣叫他的门徒说：“你去，让万人做我的门徒，做耶稣的门徒。” They'll need to share the gospel message with those who don't know Jesus. Surely they'll need to include the resurrection in that message. 
。所以呢，他要怎么做呢？要跟他讲耶稣的福音，跟这些还没有认识耶稣的人，而且要把这个复活的信息也加进去。Don't skip that part of Jesus' story. It's a crucial piece to our faith. And it's an amazing story. So it's not just Jesus who will save us from death. You have to add the story of the resurrection to it, because it's a very important, very incredible fact. When you or others doubt that it could have happened, remember the points from today. So, in the future, if you have some doubts, remember what we have said today. Jesus is alive. He has risen from the dead. Jesus is the one who has risen from the dead. The empty tomb attested to it. The angel attested to it. The appearance of Jesus Himself attested to it. 空的坟墓证明他复活，天使见证他的复活，耶稣对门徒的显现也见证他的复活。I pray that the Holy Spirit has shown you that it's true. 我我祷告，今天圣灵在你里面心里说话，让他让你知道他复活的事实。If you're still skeptical, I hope you will talk with someone about what you've heard today. 如果你今天还心存怀疑啊，不相信耶稣复活，我建议你跟一些教会的长老或同工啊来讨论。I hope you come back and hear more, and I pray that God will reveal Himself to you and that you will respond to Him in faith. 我也鼓励继续回来跟我们一起聚会。我祷告神呢，把他自己显现给你，而且你也把你的信心交给他。Let's go to the Lord in prayer. 我们一起祷告。Father God, we thank you for sending your Son. We thank you for the work that He did on the cross to redeem those who would believe in Him. Lord, we pray that we would recognize this, the power displayed in the resurrection, and what it means for us in our faith in Jesus. We thank you that we can trust your words, and that we know that Jesus is alive, interceding for us beside you. Father, we commit you. I commit this day to you, and we thank you for your love for us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we thank you because you came to us to die for us, so that we could have eternal life. Today, you rose from the dead. You gave us the life of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your love and your love for us. Father, we thank you for your love and your love for us. Father, we thank you for your love and your love for us. Father, we thank you for your love and your love for us. Father, we thank you for your love and your love for us. Father, we thank you for your love and your love for us. 让我们看到这样的真理，也让我们啊里面带着你自己的生命啊，带着你自己复活的能力，我们就为你的话语感谢你，奉主耶稣基督的名祷告，阿门。